Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Kung gusto mong mag-advanced learning mula first quarter hanggang fourth quarter, kompleto na yung topics natin, feel free to visit our playlist. Okay, let's get it started! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 7 learners! Sa video na ito ay itutuloy natin ang inyong learning task number 6 to 7. Okay? Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung part 1, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin para mapanood ninyo. Alright? Dito sa number 6, 120 grams powdered milk make 12 cups of milk. How many kilograms of powdered milk can produce 72 cups of milk? How many liters is 72 cups of milk? So, bali dalawa yung isusolve natin. At ito yung mga given. Yung powdered milk ay 120 grams, ba? And then, yung cups of milk that powdered milk can make is 12 cups. So, sa 120 grams, merong 12 cups. Ngayon, ang tinatanong, how many kilograms of powdered milk can produce 72 cups of milk? Paano ba natin yan sasagutan? Una ay i-divide natin yung 72 cups sa 12 cups para malaman natin. So, 72 cups divided by ilang cups yun? 12 cups. That would be equal to 6 so, ngayon, kapag merong 6 cups, ibig sabihin, i-multiply natin sa 120 grams. So, 120 times 6, that would be equal to 720. Kapag meron tayong 720 na grams, i-convert na natin yan sa kilogram. Kasi kilogram yung tinatanong. So, 720 grams is how many in kilograms? Diba, sa isang kilogram, meron tayong 1,000 grams. So, para makonvert natin yan, 720 grams times kung ano yung given dito na unit, yun yung nasa denominator. So, 1,000 grams is 1 kilogram. Makakancel ito, 720 times 1 equals 720 over 1,000. Ngayon, kapag nagdi-divide tayo, diba, magmumove tayo to the left ng Tatlong beses kasi tatlong zero. So, magiging 1, 2, 3, magiging 0.720 kilograms. So, dito sa number 1 question, meron tayong 0.72 kilograms of powdered milk can produce 72 cups of milk. Ito yung pang first question. Then, yung pangalawang question naman, tanggalin ko na to. Yung pangalawang question, how many liters is 72 cups of milk? So, ang conversion factor naman natin dito, yung isang cup, yung isang cup is equal to, equal to 0 0.237 liters. Meaning, kung meron tayong 72 cups of milk, ilan yan sa liters? 72 cups, i-multiply natin sa 0 0.237 liters over 1 cup. So, makakancel ito. And then, i-multiply natin yung 72 times 0.237. 72 times 0 0.237 is equal to 17.06 by rounding to the nearest. Hundreds. So, this would be 17.06 na liters. Okay? So, for the second question, ang sagot is 17.06 liters. Nag nagkuha ba? Next, dito naman tayo sa number 7. You have 8 modules to study in a day. Your teacher gave you this schedule for 5 days from Monday to Friday. Meron kang 8 subjects dito. Math, Science, English, Filipino, MAPE, EPP, ESP. At meron kang number of minutes. Minutes to ha. Letter A question. How many hours in a day you spend studying all these subjects? 
mag-focus muna tayo dito sa letter E. So, dito sa math, meron kang 45 minutes, science 40 minutes, hanggang sa ESP 25 minutes. So, ang tinatanong lang naman dito, how many hours in a day? So, naka-minute yan, meaning to say, i-convert pa natin sa hour. Pero, kunin mo na natin yung sum nila. That is, 45 plus 40 plus 40 plus 35 plus 30 plus 30 plus 25. So, using your calculator, 45 plus 80 na lang itong dalawa, 80 plus 35 plus 60 ito plus 25 is equal to 245 minutes. So, 245 minutes lahat to. Ngayon, ang tinatanong is in hour. So, kailangan pa natin itong i-convert in hour. Diba, sa isang oras, meron tayong 60 minutes. Kapag meron tayong 245 minutes, ilang oras yan? So, i-convert natin. Pag meron tayong 245 minutes, i-multiply natin sa isang oras is to 60 minutes. So, nasa denominator yung may minutes para makancel ito. Then, 245 times 1 equals 245 over 60. So, 245 divided by 60 is equal to 4.08. So, meron tayong 4.08 hours. 4.08 hour Or 4 hours na lang to study all the subjects. Okay? Now, let's proceed sa letter B. If you will add the number of minutes you spend in each subject in one week, how many hours you spend in one week for each subject? Dito naman, ang tinatanong ay kung ilan daw ba yung number of minutes in each subject in one week. Ibig sabihin, imumultiply natin yan for five days. So, unahin natin yung math. Sa math, meron tayong 45 minutes. So, imumultiply natin yung 45 minutes sa 5 kasi meron tayong 5 days. That is equal to 225 minutes in 1 week. So, i-convert natin in hour, i-divide natin sa 60 kasi 60 minutes in 1 hour. So, that is 3.75 hours. And then, sa science naman, so 40 times 5 is equal to 200 minutes naman yung science. So, pag merong 200 minutes, divide natin sa 60, that would be equal to 3.33 hours. So, pareho, nila, pareho sila sa English kasi 40 minutes din. So, 200 minutes yan in one week, that is 3.33 hours in one week. Yung Filipino naman, that is 35 Minutes times 5 is equal to 175 minutes. So, pag merong 175 minutes, that is divided by 60 equals 2.92 hours by rounding to the nearest hundreds. Then, sa mape naman, ilan sa mape? Mape is 30 minutes, so... 30 minutes times 5 is equal to 150 minutes. So, pag merong 150 minutes, divide natin sa 60. That would be equal to 2.5 hours in one week. Pareho sila sa EPP. Sa EPP, pareho sila na 2.5 hours din. Pasensya na sa sulat. And then, sa ESP naman... We have 25 minutes, so pag merong 25 minutes, that is times 5 is equal to 125 minutes in one week. Meaning, sa isang week merong, divide 60, merong 2.08 hours. Okay. Ito yung uh, conversion factors natin or conversion unit natin in hour. Each subject yung tinatanong, kaya kailangan ninyong isulat lahat yan. So, napakasipag naman ng batang ito, ang sipag mag-aral. Letter C, 
Your mother gives you 2,700 seconds playtime every day. How many minutes is your playtime? So, madali lang naman ito kasi sa 2,700 seconds, ilang minutes daw yan. Diba sa isang minute, meron tayong 60 seconds. Meaning to say, 2,700 seconds, i-multiply lang natin sa 1 minute is to 60 seconds para makancel yan. So, 2,700 divided by 60, ilan yon? 2,700 divided by 60 is equal to 45 minutes. So, 45 minutes is your play time. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!